And if we look at inflation-induced debt destruction, how did that play out over the last 30 years? Now, again, this is not a theory. It's a fact. And it happened to tens of millions of people. This actually happened to people, okay? And here's what happened, okay? Here's the old example. I'll just go through real quickly. You've all seen this probably. You buy the average house in 1972 for $18,000. I'm looking up in the green part at the top. You get an 80% mortgage for $14,000 and change. The interest rate back then in 1972 was 7.37%. You borrow that money for 30 years. 1972, that's the inflation rate. A dollar is worth a dollar. And these are the annual payments on this $18,000 house or $14,000 mortgage. And uh, these are the inflation-adjusted real payments, what you're really paying in real dollars. And that's the monthly payment. And let's not worry about this, OK? Uh, so you go forward 12 years to 1984. And now this $1972 is only worth 40 cents. OK? It's only 40 cents in real value. You're still writing a check all along for the same amount every year, which is you know, basically 101 per month, OK? Times 12 months of the year, close enough for government work, OK? And, but the value of that dollar keeps declining because of inflation, OK? So you are now paying less, both in monthly payment and the mortgage balance is being decreased by inflation. That's inflation-induced debt destruction. OK, so we just go to the end of that, and we see that by the time that mortgage is paid off, the average inflation rate is 5.1% over that 30-year period, OK? The, the $1972 is now worth 24 cents, because inflation has diminished the value of the dollar. You're still writing that last set of checks for $1,211 per year, OK? The monthly amount used to, you're still writing the check for 101 per month, but the real value of it's only $24, OK? Because inflation has diminished the value of it. But what really happened to these people, to millions of people, not a theory at all, is they thought they borrowed $14,614. By the time you added interest, they actually paid back in nominal dollars, in name only, 36318 And in real dollars, after inflation diminished the value of their debt, right? they paid back 16393 And after tax benefits, they paid back 12655 OK? So that means that they thought they were borrowing the money at 7.37%. And after inflation, they were really only paying an effective interest rate of 1.06%. And after tax benefits, they got paid 1.16% to borrow the money. And they also lived there for three decades for free.